with Kelly and Mark. Today, from the new film, The Problem with People, Paul Reiser, plus director, producer, and author, Barry Sodenfeld, and a performance from singer-songwriter Andy Grammer, featuring Maddie and October 1st, 2024. Wow. We're in it. We're in it already. Yes, we are in it already. September was a breeze. Yep. Now it's now it's pumpkin time. Pumpkin time. Ha Halloween. Yep. It's coming. Hey, listen, um, you know, if you're watching the news, obviously you know about uh, the devastation that happened after Hurricane Helene. Um, the death count is still rising. All the states, that, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Virginia, and, and uh, Tennessee. If you want to get involved and help, um, go to redcross.org to help everybody that's been affected. I think it's a good way for all of us yes, to get involved. Yes, great way to help. It's one of the stories that keeps every day, every day that we are farther away from it, the story gets worse and worse. Yeah. It, it gets more devastating. Yes. The more that's, because there are entire towns and cities that have been decimated and cut off right. from. And we're just finding help. out now. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Hey, yesterday, I, I watched baseball yesterday. <laughs> I watched baseball. There was weird. You know, almost never watch sports <laughs> all day. Baseball. I used to be a big lover of baseball. I, I kind of watch around now. Around you know what's time. so funny mm. is I remember us as a young couple dating. Yes. And early in our marriage, and you were a baseball guy. Every game. That's how I associated you. Yankees. Every game. Yeah. We would go to games. Mm -hmm. I had no choice in the matter. I would sleep through, I've slept through some of the great playoff games <laughs> in the history. Yeah. I remember being pregnant and sleeping through yeah, a game the that Derek apparently- Yeah, Derek home run where the guy reached over the wall and grabbed it. Yes. And they gave him the home run anyway. Correct, I yeah. slept right through, you but slept. I was there. You were pregnant. Yeah. Michael was there, Michael was there Michael too. Michael was there too, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the Mets. Okay, this is what happened yesterday. The Mets and the Braves are playing a doubleheader last game of the season. They're both vying for the last playoff spot. It's the wild card spot, right? Is this the thing that you asked me about? Like if we could each win and the other this is, one? Yeah. So okay. if, if one team swept, that team gets in and the Arizona, Arizona Diamondbacks get in. Okay. But if they split... The Braves get in and the Mets get in, and the Arizona Diamondbacks are golfing right now. Okay. They're, that's what that's what they're doing. Okay. So the Mets, the Mets, it was a crazy game. They went back and forth, back and forth, home runs, six runs to tie it up, to go ahead. And uh, Lindor, who plays for the Mets, hit a home run, um, and the Mets won. And so they're, congratulations to the Mets. For the Mets and the Yankees, they're both. The Mets and the Yankees are both in the playoffs, um, and they couldn't celebrate too much. Because you know, the, the champagne and the water, you know, first of all, they had to, they had to get, play a game 45 minutes later against oh. the same team, so they were like shaking water around. Okay. Um, but after the game, there was some champagne, but they have to play, they start playing today. Wow. They play today against the Brewers, I believe, right? Is there any, any Mets fans here? The Brewers? Yeah, sorry, sorry, Diamondbacks. Thanks a lot. So the Mets, yeah, the Mets are in. That's great. That's yeah. great for New Yorkers. Great for New Yorkers. Because, you know, I, there's a, a, a large population here in the city. They are all Yankees all the time. Right. But then there's a whole group, like Shulweis, a Mets fan. She's a, she's a Mets fan. Are you from Long Island? No. Hmm. <laughs> it's a long story. It's a long story why she's a Mets fan, and she's not willing to divulge it here on the air. Got it. Are you a it's Jets? None of Are your you a business. Jets? No, I'm a Giants fan. Giants, okay. Because usually the Mets and the Jets, yeah. they go together. Yes. 
Oh, is that true? Typically, yeah. yeah. Typically. Typically. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm from South Jersey and therefore <laughs> destined to only follow Philadelphia teams. Um, hey, listen, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. So, this is my clue. To all of you, don't forget to get your mammogram screening. I just got my letter in the mail. It's time. I know it's your favorite time of year. <laughs> it's the one time that Mark feels the need to call me incessantly about something you... is when I'm in the vice. <laughs> That's no, I used to call Mark. you to see how, you, how, how everything was. No, 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 but you, like, usually you don't typically know I'm there. Right. But it's the one time that you and Lola will start calling me sort of nonstop. I, really, I rarely call you, too, so it's, no, not, it's, it's the it, one time. No, it's like you, you have a pull to call me when I'm, you know, there. <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay, and now hold your breath. <laughs> I've been holding it. I've been holding it for several hours. See, if you, could, if you had your, your um, Apple Watch, you could just talk to me while it's being done. <laughs> yes, because you're the very person I want to talk to when that's being done. So calming, yes, reassuring, so reassuring, comforting. So reassuring, <laughs> that's right. So listen, I love a New York subway story like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, mm. from what I understand, from what I understand, I missed a very momentous event around here. Apparently, you know, you and I went down to tour the new studios because our show is finally moving to a new location. Um, but that's not going to happen for some time. And I still don't believe it's going to happen. It's happening. But I, no, no, it's happening. I'll probably still be here. They sold this place. This place has been sold. This place has been sold for 10 years. I know, but it's time to get anyway, out. Anyway, I don't, I don't believe it's happening. It's but anyway, allegedly we're moving downtown to this <laughs> fancy schmancy, state-of-the-art studio in, spring? in Soho, okay? Soho, where we used to live, and this would have been convenient for us. But as soon as we move to the Upper East Side, now we want to move to Soho. Okay, whatever. I digress. So apparently the entire staff as a group took a tour. went and took a mm -hmm. tour. Okay? And they took the subway <coughs> downtown. No big deal. But Kelly Burkhard, our talent booker, apparently has never taken the subway before. How is that possible? And they put her on the subway. She also doesn't have Apple Pay, so she didn't know how to pay for the subway. <laughs> Does she have a token? You paid for her on the subway. Okay. Yeah. So explain to me, if you will, what was it like, Kelly Burkhardt on the subway? Because she's very, you know, she's skittish. She, everything panics her. It's exactly how you imagine. So, so, like, reenact it. Like, like, somebody, take a pick. Okay. She's calmer like, than I thought. Yeah. Calmer than I thought. She was quiet. She was still. She was quiet. I, I have some Do you think she took, pictures. like, a pot gummy or something? <laughs> Hopefully not at work. Did she say, dude? <laughs> dude. Well, here's why I bring this up, yeah. because I wish this had happened while Burkhardt was on the subway. What happened? So, you know, New Yorkers are very nonplussed people. It takes a lot to rattle us. Nothing really. I mean, mm. if you've been on the subway, you know that you will see everything on the subway. And I do mean everything. Everything, everything. everything. Uh, but apparently, uh, a, a woman... Uh, accidentally dropped her uh, bag of crabs on the train, and thank God it was uh, filmed by an Instagram influencer named Ian O'Connor, and I think we have that video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You gotta love New Yorkers. They're like, yeah, we'll get them. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta grab them by the claws so they don't get you. Uh, it probably, probably doesn't smell too, too good in that subway. As opposed As to opposed how it to normally smells. As opposed to the other smells. aromas. Yeah, yeah. I, took, I took the subway last week. Because the UN was in session, and mm -hmm. so getting downtown, getting across town. Yeah, because you're still going downtown. I still go downtown a lot. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Fast. 15 minutes door to door. I think we should take the subway every day when we start working in Soho. Okay. <laughs> what time, what, where, which line would that be? From the, 
to six? It's, it's two lines. Six. Two lines. Yeah, two lines, yeah. Take, six, six down. Down. You'd have to do the Lexington six. line. Lexington line. Mm -hmm. But how do you get across? You can't. They don't connect, do they? Six and the one? No. No. You got to cross over on something. The yeah, L. but the that's L. the best part. The L. When you and I cross over, it's always Bedlam. <laughs> With the S to take shuttle to yeah. square. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking a shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. changing? It gets yeah. more complicated. Can't they just move the train over a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Put in a request. Yeah. Or the queue. <laughs> the queue. Oh, yeah, the, the queue. The queue, right. Yes. Hey, listen. Uh, President Jimmy Carter turned 100 today. Oh. I knew he was a Libra. Um, he's the oldest president ever to get first president ever to turn 100. Yeah. Um, I know he watches the show, so happy birthday, President uh -huh. Carter. Wow. Yep, he's in, in Georgia, in Plains, in Plains, Georgia. 100 years old, that's great. How about that? Yeah. How about oh, hey, that? This, is, this is, I wanted to get to this. Okay. 15-year-old um, boys are doing something very interesting. <laughs> They want to smell like the 1990s. <laughs> They're obsessed. With your car noir. Yes. Oh, is that true? With the colognes yeah. from the 90s. Okay. Those, that's the, so that was more of the 80s, the uh, car noir. Was it? It, it was. It okay. was. Um, uh, scents like Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mal. Oh. <laughs> Dior Sauvage. <laughs> Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gio. So this is after my time. <laughs> But I like that the old some of the old stuff. So back back in the eighties, this was the, these were my go tos. Okay, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> gray flannel. Oh, gray, gray flannel. Yes. Gray flannel. You know what? Gray flannel. Do they was still a make gray, gray flannel? One. I think so. I think it's, it smelled like you? Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it did. I was can like, we, can we gray try to get some? Can flannels. we try to get some gray flannel? I'd love to. I'd love to re reintroduce that. Into because my... it smelled like Mr. Bubbles. Uh, uh, bubble bath. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't know that. And I would go, and then I would have Dracar Noir. Of course you did. I was deep into Dracar Noir. Of course you were. And then Paco Rabanne. Of course. Paco, Paco Rabanne. And then Obsession by Calvin Klein. <laughs> I would get the little testers. Yes. I'd get the testers because you know you had PE in the first. If you had PE at first thing in the morning, like that, that was bad. Even if you showered, it still you you it was. You the just had that smell, smell. Of a teenager. And so I'd get the little testers like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> I should huh? come up. I should come up with my own like. Oh yeah. Eighties throwback. We'd call it one spray is not enough. <laughs> I would call it less is more. Less is more? <laughs> Where more is more. Less anyway, is more. Anyway, they're into it. I like it. So, uh, Jan, you have, you have a, what, 16-year-old? Yeah, 16. He's into it? Oh, uh, wait, what's, what's his, his what does he like to wear? Jacar. Jacar. That's crazy. That is just crazy. It's nuts. We should get him, like, the Terry Mugler um, oh, Angel. Oh, yeah, Angel by Terry Mugler. Do you know that one? That's that 90s. That smells like chocolate candy. Yeah, that's like, that's the aughts. That's the early, that's late, late, that's late 90s, early aughts. Do you remember Our Boys? Because Our Boys, Axe. it was all Axe, Axe body spray. And uh, Old Spice, the Old Spice, like, Viking. Remember? Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it was a pirate season in our house. I would walk in and I, it was just a cloud of Axe body spray. And they had combating formulas. Yeah. Like, you know, one liked, I don't know what it was called. Meat. Yeah, meat. <laughs> <laughs> and one was called veg. Veg. <laughs> yeah. Um, listen, we have a huge show today. I want to talk to you about my friend Barry Sonnenfeld, who has written another incredible book. Is today pub day? Today is pub day, I'm and sorry. let me tell you something. I've been listening to Barry's stories for years, and I thought I heard them all. And it turns out, no. He's been hiding gems from me, and they are in this here book. I am yeah, so, yeah, so excited. And he's here today. So he is here today. To <laughs> 
We were, we were using the bathroom together. You in, were? The public bathroom. Wait, like, what was that like? And I was like, hey, Barry. He goes, hey, Mark. I said, did you ever think we'd be doing this together? <laughs> And I meant the show, I meant the show. And he goes, no, I've never been in the bathroom with you, ever. <laughs> and so, yeah. Anyway, huge show today. Like, uh, Paul Reiser is also here. You know, we share a birthday. Mm -hmm. Paul Reiser and I share a birthday, March 30th. No kidding. Yeah. He, you know when you see, when your birthday comes up, they say, who else has been born? Yes. And I, I've always wanted to talk to him about that, what it's like to be born on the same day. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Yes. And we also have a performance by Andy Grammer with Maddie and Tay. All right. You know what time it is. I can see the lust in your eyes. It's time to play. Say hello to Ronald Taylor from College Point, New York, who watches the show on WABC. Uh, good morning, Ronald. How are you? Good. Good morning. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Hi, Ronald. Hey, Ronald. Did you have any good cologne from the from the nineties they used to wear? No, not really. No. No. Okay. <laughs> well, listen. You... Long time ago. He's all natural. All natural. All right. Um, listen, you know how this game works. You're giving us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to decide which is the truth. And if you stump me, you'll win this. <laughs> and that. Here are Ronald's two statements. I am currently training for the New York City Marathon. Oh, wow. Or I go ziplining twice a year in Cancun. Well, that's more fun. All right, so uh, the marathon, what month is it? In March. March 16th. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, the New York City marathons in March? We have the one in March, yes. They do have one in March? Okay, got it. But there's one in November, too, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not well, training for that one. Yeah. Which one are you training for? March. For well, the March one, I just started. Good, smart. Okay. Smart, because you're a little late to start training for this one. <laughs> Have you run a marathon before? Never. Good for you. <clears throat> this is going to be a first. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How many miles a day are you running now? Three to five miles I try to do. Okay, and by the end, you'll be, what, like, two weeks before? I'll be, yeah, I'll be in good shape for the 12-mile for the, uh, run. Okay. Uh, tell me about Cancun uh, and ziplining. Well, I go twice a year, usually between January and December. Okay. And I love it. And zip lining? Pardon me? Uh, time's up. <laughs> people get really people get really angry if I ask more questions after the 60 seconds. Who? What, what, what people? The people in the basements. <laughs> People in the basements get really angry. Uh, okay, here's what I think, Ronald. I, I believe that Ronald was deliberately... Being coy? Being elusive? Yes. Yeah. Here, Ronald, this is what I think. I think he goes ziplining twice a year in Cancun. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a half marathon in, in March, but not a there's the, the the New York City marathon is in November, but are you are you gonna run a marathon? No, no, never <laughs> a day in my life. Good. I recommend not doing that. I know, that but he looks well. very fit in his photo. Yeah, he's very so the fit. photo the photo led us yeah. to believe that you were probably a marathoner, but then you didn't seem to know when it was. <laughs> Ronald, listen, you didn't win the mug or the t-shirt, but you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. Hey, today's trivia dancer is Darcy Voshninka from Hickman, Nebraska. You may be our first trivia dancer from Nebraska. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Deja, let's spin that wheel and see if we can win Ronald a trip. All right. Okay, Ronald.
Donald, you're playing for a trip for two to the Los Establos Boutique Inn in Panama. Eight days and seven nights in a premium suite. It includes three meals daily, one excursion per day. They probably have zip lining there. Yes. Uh, it's a prize valued at $8,000. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck. All right, Ronald, here we go. We've had Nisi Nash Betts on the show. What films text chain did Nisi say is still going strong after eight years? Wow, and I've seen the show too. I was here and I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anything? Just yeah. take, take, Five seconds, no. take a guess. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, it was Selma. It was Selma, yeah, the movie Selma. Sorry, Ronald, Sorry. but listen, there's still exciting news. You're now going to be entered into our grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage to Antarctica, valued at over $42,000. And now you and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a $500 gift card to Fandango. So please pick a number between 1 and 129. 126. 126. seat behind the clock and the pole is better now. <laughs> All right. Thanks for playing with us, Ronald. When we return, Paul Reiser's here. Stick around. Still ahead on Live, Andy Grammer performs with... Hey. Uh, the, the arena family. The winners. <laughs> A lot of feet. Mark just reminded me that that w probably was torture for Anderson because he His cannot stand bare, bare feet. feet. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's why we did it. <laughs> I'm sure that's why we did it. A hundred percent sure that's why we did it. All right, everyone. Well, we're just mad about our next guest. Please welcome back to the show comedy legend Paul Reiser. <laughs> What a nice group. It's nice to have you nice here. To be. I didn't know we had the same we, birthday. Uh, who else do we have? We okay. Have... Uh, Eric Clapton. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. <laughs> Warren Beatty. Yes, oh. Beatty. Ah. Vincent Van Gogh. Um, wow. And my favorite? Yes. Secretariat. Oh. Secretariat, yes. Oh. And who, who remembers sings, a horse's birthday? And who birthday? sings, I, I drive a fast car? Tracy Chapman. Tracy, Tracy Chapman. Tracy Chapman. Yes, right. Exactly right. My it's a gosh. good, it's a good, We're a a special buddies, group. Do you have a lot of buddies that were born in March? No. Really? You're my best friend. <laughs> I have a, 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 a lot of guys that are my buddies that were born in March. Not Aries, but born Interesting. in March. But, you know, I, 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 I'm not a great believer that it really means something with you, that horoscope. Because somebody said, you know, Sandy Duncan and Hitler, same birthday. Went, mm. <laughs> okay. You're right. You're, <laughs> no, you're right. Very different career paths. Yes, very. Very. very so there you go. You're right. Career as a stand-up comedian. I'm not sure if you know that. But do you still do stand-up? I do. It's the, it's the thing I like best. I don't really? do it as much as I could, should. But uh, I actually, I taped a special, which will be out in November. Oh. You know, a lot of my friends' comics will have a new special every 12 months. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not me. My last one, 1991. No. no. <laughs> I like to spread them out. Yes. <laughs> don't over... Yes. Don't overstay the welcome. Every yeah. 32 years, like clockwork. Right. I send it. Yeah. So, so, did you already shoot it? I already shot it, uh, and I, it was—it's great fun. You know, that's where I started. That's—I didn't know. I didn't plan all the acting things. That kind of just came. Right. My goal was like. Can I get on the Johnny Carson show? Can I get on? You know, that was the goal. Yes. And then I'd never thought beyond that. But it has all worked out well. Do you still well. get nervous when you do stand-up? Excited, not nervous. Excited. Well, there is a thing where you... There is a moment, I think, a lot of comics have. We go, I have nothing. I have nothing to say to these people. You know, I, I don't I look at the page. You know, there's nothing funny here. Do you ever, like, 
like, did you ever bomb? And if you do bomb, are you aware that you're bombing? Oh, and if you are, you're aware. <laughs> and, so, and when you're aware that you're bombing, if you were to bomb and you were aware that you're bombing, is there Stop a... Stop saying bombing! Do you have like a... a self-defense mechanism? Is there something that lands every time, no matter what? Step one, keep the car running outside. <laughs> <laughs> you learn. No, you know what? You don't bomb. You, you, it, it, but what's so fun about it is that so, a joke that worked great Tuesday didn't work as well Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It's like, why? And you can never quite pinpoint it. And I love that challenge of trying to fine-tune it. But, you know, at this point, you don't bomb. You just go, okay, that didn't work. But sometimes, if you just tell the audience, <laughs> like, yeah, that joke didn't, you didn't care for that one. Okay. That and then I go, laugh. okay, as long as he knows. That All right. right. <laughs> yes. Uh, you and your wife just celebrated your 36th wedding anniversary. 36 years together. <laughs> and you, you, you know what? At 36, and can I say something? Yeah. Mm. It's enough. I, I, I <laughs> no, you know what I mean? I, you get the hang of something. It's like Vegas. It's all good. Don't get me wrong. It's all good. But it's like Vegas. You know, I don't know when to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> It's 63 years, yeah. and I, I, I marvel that they have anything to talk about. It's well, sometimes you see older yeah. couples in a restaurant, and they're just eating and like, yeah. and you think, yeah, because everything that happened before they met, they've already shared, right. and everything since they met, the other one was already there. So you know, right? What, no, what, no, right. But no, 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 no. It, uh, we're, I'm very lucky because we, we met. We met in a comedy club. I was doing stand up, and she was a waitress in a comedy club, and uh, and we, we just kind of it was many years ago. But as as well matched and as wonderful and, and and as loving as we are, there's a new phenomenon. I don't know if you guys are there yet. We inadvertently frighten each other. Just not yet. No, it's like I'll just walk in the room and go, "Honey, go, no!" Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've been here forty years. Why, I know why, what you mean. Why is that a surprise? I, <laughs> <laughs> you go, well, say something from the other room. Right. So now I, I'll do. That. I go, "Honey," she go, "Don't talk from the other room." I go, "Okay, pick one." You can't. You can't. You know, <laughs> you're, 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 you're warning her that you're Honey, coming. Honey, I'm yeah. coming in. Yes, I'm here. Guess don't be scared. I look like this. <laughs> oh well, as you see. <laughs> and, uh, every, and, you know, you say, what is the problem with people? It always seems no matter how small you make the sample group, they'll find something to fight about. Right. That's you right. Know? And, Correct. And so this is our attempt. It's a, it's a very, hopefully, very funny comedy. But at the heart of it is, what, why? Why can't people not fight? There must be a way we can get around this terrible flaw of is, ours. Is this based on any real-life experiences you've had? Any big dramas mm. in your family? No, it, it, the whole reason for the movie was, I, I wrote this movie because I wanted to go to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> we had, my wife and I, we were there 30 years ago and went, oh my God, this is the most beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And so I always wanted to make a movie there, so I wrote it. And, uh, and you know, I, we never had anything that dramatic, but I remember my mother was no longer with us, and she had, we had one relative that she always just didn't speak really well of. And I said, what, 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 what's the problem? What, what, what's going on? She goes, well, she said something that just did not sit well with me. I said, when? She said, 1947. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we hold on to things and sometimes you don't even know why. Why don't I, why am I supposed to not like this person? Yeah. Right. So this is a, hopefully a look at that. And it's a really fun. Jane Levy, the wonderful Jane Levy, plays yes. my daughter. Oh, my gosh. And uh, it'll be out uh, this Friday. You yes, can it watch will. it at Thank you, Paul. The problem with people in theaters and all digital platforms, like Paul said, this Friday, October 4th. Come up next, Barry Sonnenfeld. Stick around. Last time you were here, you crushed, crushed Gelman. You leg wrestled him to death. I did, and and let's not forget Ryan. And Ryan, I mean, and you beat me. And of course you too. But yes. that was early. That was not live. No. Are you so, still are you still leg wrestling? No, I had a knee replaced, so you never have to worry about wrestling me again. Oh. Oh. So you, but you leave the sport as the de facto champion the of the world. I am the goat. Yeah. Knee wrestler. I mean, wrestler. you've yeah. you've beaten everybody. You've beaten Will Smith. Uh, sure. Sure. Usher, oh, right? Yes. I mean, yeah. you've beaten some heavyweights. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the bigger the be the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Gelman thought for sure he was going to take you no, down. No, I know. Really? I, but you know, Gelman got a 
has a groin injury that yes. we won't talk yes. about. Yes. Uh, Barry, you began your yes, career Mark. with the Cohen brothers. Yes, I did. How did you guys meet? <laughs> well, uh, uh, we were at a party, just Joel and myself, and we were the only two Jews there. Everyone there was from Darien, Connecticut, and he told me <laughs> that he was going to shoot a fictional trailer because uh, he had written a script called Blood Simple. They were going to shoot a fictional trailer and use a trailer to raise money sure. to make the movie. So I said, I own a camera, and he said, you're hired. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's, that's incredible. That's the kind of luck I have. I mean, wow. really? And yeah. that, that really changed the course of your life, would uh, you say? Yes. Uh, there I was. Uh, several years later, we finished the movie. Uh, we were at the New York Film Festival. I'm at 72nd Street. On Broadway, eating uh, Gray's papaya, Still all there. beef, no yep. bowl, three mm -hmm. for a buck eighty-five with a drink. Those wow. are the old days. The, yeah. the old days. And I'm reading the New York Times review that said, uh, it mentioned my name that I it was, uh, I became a lauded cameraman that night, and it changed my life. It really incredible, you know. And this book, and I. I you know, I first of all, I loved your first book so much. Thanks, Barry Del. Sonnenfeld, Call Your Mother. If Please you haven't read, read it, read it. Yeah. But this book, Best Possible Place, Worst Possible Time, really should be required <laughs> reading for all people entering the entertainment industry and anybody who likes to be entertained. Because you write about so many great films and, 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 and so much of your work is consequential. And what are you most proud of? I'm most proud of being married to Sweetie. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. that, you know, uh, if I look back at my career, the fact that that woman yeah. Yeah. married me. Yeah. Oh, fair. Oh. You made me cry. No, no you're a crier, though. I am a crier. I am a crier. No, but okay, I know. But, I, yeah, I so feel blessed that. to know Sweetie, too. Yeah. I yeah, understand no. the impulse. But that won't sell books. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I'm proud of the book because, uh, A, I name names, so that's fun. Yeah. A lot of, uh, I'm old enough that I can name names knowing I'm never going to work again anyway. No, that's not true, That's not though. true. That okay. is not true. Okay. I, and I believe that the names that you name, uh, I, I think that you name them in a way that is not... Uh, you're just very honest. It's not, That's right. you're not, you're not trashy mean. You're in not any mean. way. You're not yeah. mean in S any way. Sweetie, who is uh, my harshest editor, would read stuff and I'd say, should I cut this out? And she's very sensitive. I'm not. I'm guileless. You don't know who I am. Hỏi hận chưa? Hello. Quay mặt phía sau làm cái gì? Nữa rồi đó, phá nữa rồi đó Nói cái bạn này rảnh Thôi nhường đó Ủa, sao hai người giống nhau vậy? Là tôi hiểu làm bạn bên đây rồi hả? Xin lỗi, xin lỗi nha, tôi phụ, tôi phụ Xin lỗi, nãy hiểu lầm Để phụ chân mớ rồi đó đánh đi Ủa sao đứng đây có mình vậy? Không ai chơi hả? Đây Để chị Chị chơi với em nha
rồi tất cả lại đây tất cả lại đây ủa sống lại Đánh kiểu này hơi lâu nha Để mình dồn lại một mớ rồi đánh luôn nè Đó 